Howdy and welcome to Play Game Spread Joy. I'm Justin. Today we're going to be unboxing a new to me game, The Princess Bride, A Battle of Wits. This is a game from Sparkworks, uh, designed by Matthew O'Malley, with art by Felicia Kano. Uh, I know very little about this game. This is a game I received as a gift uh, during the holidays. And so I want to unbox it and just see what it's all about, uh, learn more about it. Uh, this is... It says it's inspired by the classic scene from The Princess Bride. A Battle of Wits is a fast-playing card game of deduction, bidding, and bluffing. Secretly play a wine or poison card beside a goblet and bid to drink from a goblet at the end of the game. So it sounds like one of those uh, games that's great for families and parties. Um, it looks like it's 2 to 10 players, so great for those larger group games, uh, game nights that you have, ages 10 and up. So it looks like you can get some of the semi-younger family members involved as well and i guess the more you learn about the game maybe even younger depending if the theme is okay in your family you know plays in about 15 minutes so you can play it multiple times or use it as a filler game between some of those bigger games you might be playing so let's open it up see what it's all about what the artwork looks like let's see how much they integrated the theme itself uh, for everyone who knows about the princess bride and the infamous scene where they're drinking wine uh, outdoors and thinking, trying to figure out which one's poisoned. Uh, maybe it's both. We'll see what it is. We'll open it up. Uh, kind of a loose top, not not super tight, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, nice square box, easy to throw in a backpack or something on the go. Looks like we got a rule book right on top. And then looks like a little pamphlet uh, for some other games from the same company we'll set that aside uh, look through that later uh, looks like it starts off with telling you again how many players game length ages uh, the contents you should expect to find uh, how many of each and kind of what they look like uh, like it even goes into detail like right here it says see character cards have a uh, winningly positive front and a tragically poisoned back so it kind of a little bit of extra detail to help you know what you should be looking for on those cards. It looks like set up with a pictorial view. Uh, looks like a how to play page as well. Contents, bidding, uh, how, how you play cards based on the row in the middle. Uh, looks like it talks uh, different types of cards as well. Being immune to something, switching something, uh, resolving bids. And then end up drinking and seeing who survives, essentially. And then it looks like there's some also variants to the gameplay, uh, to the setup, playing as teams, uh, playing luckless if you want to remove the element of luck. Some people play without Sicilian cards, um, odorless and tasteless, um, where you can, uh, if you'd rather not know anything about the contents other than what you can glean from the other players, play without the time token and don't reveal any contents before drinking. Uh, so really... You never know until you've taken that drink and it's too late. And then summary of play, uh, so you can leave this on the table. Uh, quick setup, play, and resolution rules. Uh, once you get to know the game, you don't have to open the whole book. You can just leave it there to the side. Okay, so then inside the box we got, looks like some Dexa cards and a very uh, straightforward, simple style insert. Let's pull those cards out. Looks like they've done some extra artwork, so you kind of know where each deck goes in there when you put it back if you so desire. Now, unfortunately, my version, I don't know if this is uh, common with this insert uh, in this game. Maybe it's because it's a slightly thinner cardboard that they've used. It's already ripped um, just from the weight of the cards inside the box. A little unfortunate. Um, I can probably tape and glue that up so it's not a huge deal as it's not the actual game components. Uh, but a little unfortunate to see nonetheless. So we got two decks of cards. Uh, it looks like uh, we got one that says Princess Bride Battle of Wits uh, backing. Yeah, you kind of see Wesley and Princess and uh, blanking on his name right now, but the other guy that is really part of the Battle of Wits drinking contest. And then looks like those are going to be cards that will be playing with different value, number values. We have the back of this kind of the poison type stuff and more values. Uh, so I'm going to open these up and then see just what's on the rest of the cards. Um, see if these have a quick peel. It looks like they might. 
seeing something right here on the edge of the card. It's a little bit harder to see because they don't. It's not that that colored pool, but it does have that quick pool plastic. Let's take that off and slide that out. I'm glad I was able to see that. It's a little hard to see. You have to catch the light just right, but it does have a quick pull on there. Uh, so we got one. Looks like a timer card. Uh, poison or not poison. Uh, these were the double sided. Looks like character cards, essentially. Another deck of cards. Right now, we're just going to separate the different decks, set them aside until we get both decks open. So now I know how to look for it. I can find that quick pull on that one as well. Get that plastic off. And let's get all these cards out and then we'll know which decks they all belong to. Looks like these all go into that last pile right there. First off, we have the double sided timer card. Uh, looks like the sand is dripping down. Everything's nice, cheery, safe until it's too late. Time's almost up and someone's been poisoned. Okay, so let's take a look at these character cards. Now, remember the rule book did say that these um, have a winningly positive front, uh, kind of brighter, and then tragically poisoned back. So let's see what the difference is. So we got that bright front for the albino. And then we flip it over and it's dark. Okay. And even the facial expression has changed as well. So it's not, they don't just use the same artwork and make it dark. They actually get new artwork for the actual character. And it looks like they're actually getting artwork or uh, stuff from the actual movie, which is nice to see. So we got Buttercup right here. Flip it over and tragically it's too late. Okay. And then we got uh, Fezzik. Our friendly giant has not fared so well, apparently. And then we got the grandfather, our storyteller. Uh, just kind of a general upset, nothing extreme on that facial expression. Uh, the grandson, of course, has to have the game controller in the corner uh, to enjoy his time. Flip it over. He's like, wait, wait, you tell me what? This is a, a kissing story? No. Uh, of course, uh, Inigo Montoya can't have Princess Bright without him around. Uh, but he does get stabbed in the end. He, 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 he suffers a bit, as they all do. It's not Everything is not perfect. We got the man in black. Oh, no. Revealed identity as well. Okay. We got uh, the Miracle Max with uh, Unfortunate Demise. And then Prince Hopperdink. Uh, no one cares as much about him, of course. Or who no one really wants to see win is Count Rugen. Just a few too many fingers uh, to make anyone feel comfortable with that. Um, the Zinni. There, that's his name. I couldn't remember it earlier. It, it almost, I know he's laughing in this, but it almost seems problematic in the way he's laughing. Like he's not as as happy in that with that laugh. Um, but of course we know while he's laughing, it all goes downhill fast. Last but not least, uh, we got Yellen, who also could meet. Their demise. So these are character cards depending on who you play as. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't looked through all the rules if it matters who you play as or if it's just for the fun of it. Uh, now the next set of cards, uh, the Black Chalice backing. We click, uh, turn them over. We got the contents, uh, bids. So currently they're all looking about the same. It says contents, bids, and they're alphabetized right now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. So pro most likely it's uh, dependent on the uh, number of players you have uh, for those cards itself because uh, this game does go up to ten players. So with ten of those cards, I assume that deals with, okay, which player are you? What have you bid? What are your contents of your cup? So now we get to the actual wit cards. Uh, these appear to be all numbered, uh, potentially, okay. Not okay. I stacked this set on the back of that, and I probably should have set it the other way 
I'll probably leave some extras in there as well. Well, this, but they do appear to have some words on them. Uh, looks like they're probably uh, quotes from the movie itself. So like this one right here. And you must have suspected I would have known the powder's origin, so I can clearly not choose the one in front of me. And so like these appear to be numbered. I'm seeing nine as the high number so far as I scan through all these cards. Uh, we'll see, kind of wonder if there's different quotes just by number or if it's every card has a different quote. Uh, so let's find, so right now I'm, I'm seeing different quotes. At least each number has different. Um, let's see if there's any repeat. So we got, got another five again and you must have suspected. So it does look like um, it's only by number. It's not every card has a different quote itself. Yeah, it's everything I'm seeing so far. So you're gonna have some different quotes, uh, some different uh, little background art, some skulls, some grapes, the hands. But for the most part, it's just a large deck of those cards for bidding um, with slightly different artwork as you go about. Um, oh, it looks like a couple different quotes potentially as you get to different, maybe different decks, a couple different decks of quotes. Because we're seeing a different symbol here. As you can tell, it's different and the quote changed as well. So there might be a few different decks. Um, they get shuffled together. Maybe some are positive, some are some are not uh, based on their symbol. Uh, that would of course depend. Uh, go back into reading the rules, and it reads as okay. So what we talked about earlier in the rule books, uh, you can play without the Sicilian cards. So that's what the symbol is. This is Sicilian cards. Looks like you can also see it on uh, the back as well. So let's uh, flip these decks over. We'll sort those out real quick. Uh, this is, uh, looks like they might be somewhere shuffled together, maybe not. So Sicilian, but there are, it looks like a couple different deck deck backs. So if you've you got the hand on this one, I wonder if it's based on each player. Okay, I think I'm, I'm seeing the difference now. Each player Based on the character you have, and you have a character deck of cards as well. Because if we go back to the character cards in a moment, we'll see these same symbols on those character cards, uh, kind of like the the joystick uh, game controller, uh, Grandpa's hat. Yeah, so these are play, uh, character uh, decks. So we'll sort through the rest of those later, but it at least appears these are one through seven with the same uh, general quotes on each character's deck. But if you add in Sicilian cards, that's when the quotes begin to change. Uh, okay, so that, that seems to make more sense what I was saying before. And it looks like there's an immunity, they're switching. So of course, we don't know the full rules, but at least if you're really into the movie itself and the quotes and the just general nostalgia and you need a card the game that plays more than just general four or five players this like we said this goes up to 10 players so you'll be able to play with more people really enjoy the 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 different quotes and reminiscing about the movie and just seeing who survives the game uh, but in general it looks like the cards just go back into the box um, on the two sides you may have to split let's see because right now I have all the character decks right here let's see how well they fit in one side so they do fit now I'll have to retape this this insert like we talked about because unfortunately this one did tear so these cards are going to start to slide under um, but you don't need ziplocs or anything like that uh, so nice something you can throw in your backpack take along with you uh, to those game nights family nights whatever it may be where you're playing together where you have more than your standard player count and you just want something quick to fill in or if you want to play this a lot looks like something you can do so again this was a the princess bride a battle of wits from sparkworks and you can visit their site at sparkworks.fun so thank you for joining me um, again i'm justin and as always play games and spread joy